Hello friends, hope we're ready to get swooped on because it's time to play some more Civilization 6 and make some poor strategic decisions. Let's go. So, last time our fledgling civilization settled on the eastern seaboard of the continent known as Terra Australis. Um, expanding into the ocean north and south and deep into the desert. We established several strongholds and codified our beliefs into a formal religion. And look, we were just chilling, worshipping unnamed, unspeakable evil that lives behind the stars and beneath the ocean. And then for some reason, everybody started hating on us. I know, I know, life's not fair. So, yeah, we got invaded by some technologically superior barbarians, which if you really think about it, doesn't that make us the barbarians? Best not to think about it too much. So we fought back and, uh, yeah, now we're going to try to keep expanding, keep exploring and uh, keep building our economy because right now we are on par with the lowest tier of civilizations who are in the progress of process rather of getting conquered so that's where we are let's get into it swoop swoop i can't believe they're playing is this waltzing yep they're playing waltzing matilda on the bgm this is uh some jingoistic australian folk music about a man who steals some sheep and then uh, rather than go to jail he commits suicide yep yep nationalism is weird yo uh. so speaking of poor strategic decisions I kind of injured myself today so I may be a bit rambly sitting here and uh, dosed up on painkillers. But we'll be right. We'll get through it. It's a bit shit as well, like... You know, I injure myself and everybody's like, Yo, bro, aren't you like an undead wizard? Like, can't you just magic fix it all? And Do you even feel pain? I mean, your pain receptors are all dead, right? It's like, motherfucker, I'm standing right here. Yes, I can feel pain, and the fact that you have to ask, well, that kind of hurts too. It's kind of like... Kind of like when people say YOLO. You only live once. Like, I'm standing right here. Clearly, it's not true. And I know, it's just a figure of expression. We got a lot of much bigger problems in the world to deal with than redressing the uh, microaggressions delivered out to the undead, but at the same time, I just feel like it doesn't doesn't cost anyone anything. It's no skin off anyone's back to acknowledge the words can hurt. And even if your political ideology is telling you to disregard these concerns. At the end of the day, even if you're a traditionalist, this is nothing new. And isn't good manners the traditions that we're trying to get back to? And breaking the fourth wall here for a moment, because, you know, I am a wizard. I will break whatever fucking walls I want to break. Obviously, I'm being satirical here. But if you can understand this issue through the lens of satire, then you can understand it in real life. So don't pretend it's so difficult. And I guess that's, that's kind of the power of stories. Speaking of difficult, look what Japan just did. Settled goddamn Port Moresby. Got people right on our doorstep now. 
I've actually lived there. I've lived in Port Moresby. A lifetime ago. So anyway. Oh yeah, we should build a we should build we should build a settler, shouldn't we? We should go up and take cans. Yeah, no reason why not to. Now Oh, well, I foresee an early naval war with Japan on the horizon. Possibly also with Indonesia and the Maori. So I have actually, uh, I, I toyed with my uh, audio and video settings today. Hey look! Name unit, that's what I was looking for last time. have it but not you. Maybe they only get it at two promotions? Okay. Let's uh... The, the. Let's uh... What's a good name for him? The Antediluvian Band. Nice. Very cool. I actually got an achievement for that. I've never, never, never done that before. In my oh, nearly 1,500 hours of gameplay on this game. Okay, so let's see if we can focus enough to come up with a bit of a plan as to what we're doing. International arms trade. We're still doing the international arms trade. We need to raise our money. We need to raise our faith. And we need to keep exploring, yeah. We'll sort of see how we go from there. Should I explore? Now I'm going to be cheeky and see if I can get into the Mediterranean. Hey, Spain. So as I was saying, I, I tweaked with my video settings and such, and some of the uh, blur I would get when I moved the map. I think there's still a little bit of that going on, but it's uh, greatly reduced. I'm going to keep uh, exploring, see if I can get it down to zero. I mean, I'm just uh, recording YouTube videos, so I should be able to set whatever bitrate I want, right? You'd think so. So this music instrument playing on the BGM now, it's... um. It's like a Japanese bamboo flute. It's really cool. It has no set time signature in the way it's played, if it is the one I'm thinking of. And it has this kind of a semi-spiritual um, association 
the way I'm buying. Uh, I just believe that. See, this could be problematic if I go into 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 the Mediterranean here, because if they expand one square that way, then I can't get out. So we're going to put a pin in that plan for now. Now Fez, what's your, what's your bonus? Convert city, don't 20 science per, no, nah, I don't want that. I mean, I could chuck one in there to get a little bit of extra science, but they may very well, very well be about to go down and between you and me, I want what's here. There's uh, some golden treasure waiting the fog of war provided they spawned in which they should have I see no reason why not there should be more than enough room for them to have spawned in okay I can still kind of remember how to play this game That should help us with the moolah. The dollary doos, as we call them down in Australia. Official currency of Australia, the dollary do. For the uh, Zoomers, I am referencing the Simpsons there. It's one of the old, unfunny shows of the 90s. Like Seinfeld or Friends, except a little bit better, I'd say. Um, what do we want to do? Let's just keep it, figure out, rest of West Australia, what's going on there. And Darwin. What's going on up there? Biggy butt brain. Um, okay, you've got three charges. So if we go diamond, diamond, wheat. Yeah. Take you one, two, three turns to get there. So yeah, let's just go for diamond there first. Library, obviously very important. No, thank you, Mr. Akari. You're welcome, Cirrus. Ah, uh, no, thank you, Mr. Saladin. Ah, uh, no, thank you, Mr. Hadrada. Cleopatra coming at you. No, thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Byzantium. Man. History is the version of past events that people have decided to agree upon. Hmm. I mean, he's 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 right. It is technically true. But that's such a Napoleon Bonaparte quote. Like, that is totally how a fascist would view the world. An autocrat, at least. All right. All right. Boost our campuses. We want better science. Okay, that got a seven more science. Worth it. We're just going to be building more and more from here. Okay, full faith for that, two faith for that. Yeah, obviously we're going to go obelisk. 
and theology, because I have to get our temples. We are basically mind over matter, the civilization. God damn, Lisbon's gearing up. Portugal. Who are you at war with? Mali. Oof. Oof. Okay, beautiful. Now we get to boost our science. Shit's starting to happen. Hopefully this will be the game where we actually start to take off. We got a lot of catching up to do. Probably not a lot of time to do it. The ghost fish clan. Are you selling me more galleys? Yeah. Hmm, I wonder. Half moon clan. Horsemen. Kinda of tempting. Because I can cross the desert quickly with them. But, um. I don't know, never really been that big a fan of the horseman unit in this game. Um, I should be buying something with that, shouldn't I? Five sixty for a settler. our faith. How far are we off our next settler in faith? 280. I expect we'll see our um, growth start to accelerate. break down too not just machinery i am i am personally attacked Man by this court is only because he takes seriously what the gods made for fun i am personally attacked by this one too is this is this is this fun to you gods do not mock me with your jolly waltzing matilda Sing Matilda. Tilda. Boom, boom, ba dum, boom, ba dum, ba dum, ba dum. Oh. Hello. Looks like we got a war with Indonesia on the books, boys. Okay, so we're going to save our money now for crossbowman upgrades. You get one every five turns.
Although I think I do need a trader here, 255. So that's the same as a crossbow upgrade. Or 125 faith, so I need the faith for settlers. All right, all right, all right. We should just go this without the boost then. It's only two turns. We need better boats. Hey, our amenities are looking a little better. International arms trade, let's go. We're like we're like Nicolas Cage in that movie. No, not that one, the other one. Um you're not getting it. I'll go to you, fellow sea dweller. Or and sure. Okay, that's some healthy inflow. Let's burn. Keep going like that. Hey, you're the one who started it. Whatever. Don't even think about it, buddy. I'm sorry. Hey, we actually have enough for a crossbowman upgrade now. We're going trader. We're going trader. We need to boost Wailuna's growth because when I get mathematics, I really, really want Petra. So I'm gonna need that holy side up first. So I need to boost their growth because they need to get some production from from somewhere. Well, mines is the only way I can conceivably see to do it. So yeah, we're going trader. We'll just plug you into irrigation. We'll get that in one turn. Um, temple would be the play, right? Then lighthouse. God, two turn granary. Actually, good deal, but. Yeah. We're going, oops, all faith. Under the white cliff's battlemented crown, hushed to a depth of more than Sabbath peace. Was there ever a more appropriately named man than Wordsworth? Hey, it's Eleanor! My Oshi. Probably one of my favorite historical figures, also, um. 
Probably my favourite monarch of all time. Yeah, yeah. I shouldn't necessarily be accepting... Oh yes, the one man I wanted to be friends with. Um, I shouldn't necessarily be accepting all of these... Um, these gifts, but... Um, I think it does have a negative outcome on my ability to wage war with the civilization. Speaking of... Thousands have lived without love. Not one without water. It'd be kind of tempting to swoop in there and try to try to take this settler off them. By the way, what a banging quote. Thousands have lived without love, but not one without water. But they're going to have so many boats. Some of my cities don't have walls yet. And I'm not even... That guy couldn't even take a, 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 a warrior by himself, as is. Yes. This will also give us a nice road to uh, connect our center with our east Money. coast. If it does not bring you happiness, will at least help you be miserable in comfort. Miserable in comfort. Alright, what am I going to do with you? I guess you're going to keep patrolling. Ha. He he. Nani. Oops. Uh, what am I doing? What am I even doing? Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, we can make an industry around whales. Excellent. Excellent. What does a whale industry give us? Okay, yeah, we want mathematics. Just, just leave, please. We don't want you here. You're gonna mess up my city distribution. You settle there. I wanna settle there. Man, at least settle there. I'm gonna move there to try to encourage you to do just that. At least we're getting lots of error score and we seem to be on top of our barbarians for the moment. And the world is safe, but for how long? Do a counterclockwise rotation around the British Isles.
they saddle, I swear to God. If bread is the first necessity of life, recreation is a close second. I mean, if we're going to go to war at them if they settle they're gonna they're gonna settle so we might as well just go to war with them friendly yeah get out of here Where's our little level two, our antediluvian band? Antediluvian band, there you are. Hey, I want to get education pretty quick. I think it's on the top line, the same as the, the, the naval stuff that I'm going for. Ooh, Cirrus, Persia is no more. diplomatic favor money 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 we're going full mr. Krabs You make 2.7 money. You make 4.8. Alright, so you get the industry. Plus that will help you with your uh, growth and development and such. Now we are going to need a missionary soon. Point of Point of order. Because we need to spread religion. Oh, we got religion here. That's going to boost. Because now we've got their adjacency also providing uh, production. We're going to need one here and one here. Our religion is starting to spread on its own though, which is good. Which is very good. I don't want to trade away my diamond. Reaching the point where I do actually require some amenities. Oh, hello. Um, 
Uh, I don't want some random joint war. Not while I've got my still quite vulnerable uh, galley traveling around. If I were again beginning my studies, I would follow the advice of Plato and start with mathematics. I mean, not a bad idea as long as you don't also finish with mathematics. That doesn't sound like a very well-rounded education. Okay, we can name this. Um, I my head is too messed up to come up with a with a good name right now. Okay, three leaf clan. Why do I feel like they're gonna start sending men at arms against me? That'd be cool, because that would give production there. Speaking of, I need to... There. We do need to go for crossing oceans. Adelaide or Tasmania? Go Adelaide. Here the dark brown amorphous basalt, there the red ochre, and below that again, the slender but distinct lines of the wood coal. I really don't know anything about the Giant's Causeway, but I imagine it would be very cool Oh, oh, we got the Golden Age. That is very, very cool. Okay, yeah, yeah, we need some crossbowmen. This is going to be problematic if we don't. We've reached that time. Yep. Yep, exactly that time. Crossbow o'clock. So we got that golden age really early. In theory, we shouldn't do any more exploring with him for now. I don't think we've even got the countdown to the Renaissance yet. Hey, get out of here. Good choice. Got the cool medieval music now. We're going to sleep you for now and uh, try not to forget about you. Which is, uh... Yeah, I'm probably going to forget about them. 
a Bodhi temple. That would be kind of cool. Like if we chucked it there. Hmm. Hmm. I'm really tempted. Legit tempted. I mean, a secret temple in the midst of the forest, that is that suits our role-playing thing, and I don't think it removes the forest. So, worst case, we can still use it for lumber mills and such. So, even though, in theory, we should be building our city center next, our government plaza, right, which we could do in two turns, I think... Oh. Host gives holy sight. Plus one appeal to tiles in city. I was playing. That is very cool, but I think this is going to be more helpful. All right, YOLO. Wait. Oh my God, I really, I really just said it, didn't I? My disappointment, my disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. Maybe it's like it's not the same when I say it, like I didn't say it with the hard O. See if we can distract you, get you to shoot at me. And that will give me some time. So what's our next settler? 320. I do like this whole faith-based expansion. It's a good strat. You know, with a second, I want, I want to settle this north coast ASAP to prevent these kind of Indonesian incursions. Maybe I... because this is a more valuable site. I can buy the monolith. I can... I can move my governor up if I need be. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna play this by ear. We're gonna see how we go. Because Adelaide... You know, it's cool and all, but the location isn't amazing. It doesn't have resources. It doesn't have luxuries. It's mostly surrounded by desert. Um, it is going to be key to building our big um, industrial center, but for the moment, it's just kind of like... You know, until I can get this guy over there to build fisheries, it's going to have, it's going to have abysmal growth. It's going to have very poor... 
Oh, I do have two. I can trade one of those diamonds. Can't I? Him that overcometh, will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. Okay. Invincibility lies in the defense, the possibility of victory in the attack. Yes. Okay, we got a governor. Governor. Okay, yeah, yeah. Not that surprising. Ooh, mausoleum of... That's a good one. That's a good one. And I'm going to have a lot of industrial zones up, so maybe that will... That gives me the extra engineer charges. It will destroy this forest, so no more use for that. But... Oh yeah, we... I see, here we go, religion. Doesn't give me a turn till the conversion. Oh well, in 10 turns, if they still haven't converted, then I'll build a missionary. In the meantime, get you up in three turns. You'll give me a little bit of extra science. Yeah, let's 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 see if we can get a wonder. I wonder. What's the path here? Civil service leads to divine right. Feudalism gives me extra build. I'm going to go civil service for now. Oh yeah, I got to do some trading next turn. First thing, don't forget. France and Spain have gone to war. I'm on a tradition. Oh man. We might even need a couple of extra soldiers just to hold everything together, hey. Because that's about to become really dangerous, this 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 road. Turn, I can promote another one. Yes, trading, trading. Um. Even trade the favor. Okay, what do we got? Oh, 
High end seems to be going down in value. Be expected. All right, next turn we may have a crossbowman and a settler. Nine turns for crossbowman. Um, have we got anybody else that would be handy? I guess crossbowmen are our best soldier at the moment. So I was thinking, um, maybe I should limit these episodes to like an hour or so. Though, I don't know, we can't really get that much done in an hour because this, this, this game type, it is, so, it is really slow. Especially with me, like, stopping and chatting about everything. An hour probably is better for the YouTube algorithms, like, under an hour. But, like, let's be real. I'm not hitting the YouTube algorithms. Nobody's watching my videos. I'm just doing this because it's, it's fun. Um... And I'm also learning how to how to how to operate the software. Maybe in future we will think uh, more critically about um, stuff like algorithms and other rhythms. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, just BM in there. That means I could actually take it out with some crossbowmen if I so desired. Oh, not crossbowmen, archers. So, we're going to try that. You just follow behind. Pew pew! You dropped. Get out of here. Escape. So you just got to run back there and I could get an invasion. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to stop that in time. But you're going to have to fight it. Uh, meanwhile. Pew pew. Another settler. Your growth is stagnant. that at the moment. Hmm. That's unfortunate. When I got the spare cash, after upgrading my crossbowman, I should start buying up ocean tiles. So that I can uh, kind of delineate and potentially defend my borders a little bit more, because my long-term strategy does involve a certain degree of political antagonism towards my neighbours.
just to see what happens here. We could start to see barbarians just popping up everywhere. Strategy requires thought. Tactics require observation. I like the delivery of that line. Tactics require observation. Almost like he's observed something. He's like, he's like, oh, what's that over there? Alright, one more turn, um, we'll be able to afford another um, crossbowman. We won't have him immediately. And what's our settler? Count 360. 360 no scope. Alright, shame we don't have a second harbour. But yeah, that is... That is just all around the best choice. Can't believe how quickly I got this golden age. Um, honestly, this this is the rise of our empire. So far, nothing has really gone wrong. Touchwood. That's a man at arms. Not sure if a crossbowman can beat a man at arms just on base value. The clan of the setting sun, 382 for a man at arms. Just rolling in the money. destroyed. Well done, Eleanor. Let's declare friendship with you. Some people might be pissed by that, but I think that's fine. Me, Eleanor, and Chandra Gupta. We can, we can go and live on a private island together. Hey, Robert. Could you imagine a more manly name than Robert the Bruce? An enormous and lofty column of flame allowed the people of Holt to read as perfectly at night as if it had been day. Just uh, reading in the shadow of an erupting volcano. Is there anything more Scandinavian than that? Robert the Bruce, Robert the Bruce, Robert the Bruce. The taxpayer. 
That's someone who works for the federal government, but doesn't have to take the civil service examination. Ugh, Reagan. I was like, I smell, I smell American libertarians. I look down, Ronald Reagan, yep. Um, keep this set up for now. We're going to have monarchy in there, not too distant future. So, one, two, three. So, we're going to have a city there. One, two, okay, one, two, three. So, we're going to have a city there. Uh, one, two, three. We're going to have a city there. Yeah, that's the better spot, and we're going to have a city there, and we might end up deleting this iron to put in an aqueduct. Hmm. Because iron is going to get devalued, and we, we really do have so much of it. Probably can't take you on our own. Back up and promote. If he wants to come after me, that's his business. Fast Strikers. Alright, so we'll probably go Divine Right, then Feudalism. One, two, three, one, two... Um, two, three, four. Yeah, we're just going to finish developing your ocean. So we can move Liang over to another city and start developing them. Gradually they'll just Liang will just do a world tour all around the perimeter. A continental tour rather. Oops, no no, don't want you to do that. On. a little bit harder to manage our barbarians.
This is just gonna clear them automatically. Do I get anything from it? Let's 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 find out. Well, it spawned a barbarian ship galley. Okay. All right. All right. Now we need a governor up there. Um, let's chuck in Rainer for the increased uh, the land acquisition. Into Darwin. Yeah, that keeps us loyal. So we're not quite done with Liang here. Okay, so you got a good harbour there. And a beautiful campus there. Yeah, we're going campus. That's gotta happen. Even if it takes 103 turns. <laughs> Hopefully we'll uh, be able to plug him in with a, with a uh, trader before then. Wow, everything's starting to look up Millhouse. That's a uh, another Simpsons reference, Zoomers. Look, I mean, I'm not going to quote Family Guy. I do have standards. Okay. Range, definitely. Uh, keep city center. See how this turns out. Malay and campus. Okay. And melee. Never hundred percent sure how to say that word. All right. Now we have the error countdown. there. If we chuck this one in, we'll have influence from both adjacent cities, so we should be able to negate that. And speaking of, we can now get another settler. You wait. Ten turns. Yeah, Japan built the Tsukushima Shrine. That makes sense. Tamar's down. I wouldn't have finished it in time. Being a fan of Hollow Live, you know what I want to put for regarding the elite. <laughs> um, the 
desert rats. Okay. I'm going to keep you going along the... Um, I assume this would be the Nullarbor Highway. It's basically the only road that connects through the middle of Australia. It is, it is, it is a scary ass road. Like just like a week of driving in a straight line with nothing in sight. It is crazy. I, I drove, drove it uh, with my dad when I was a kid. It was a, it was a surreal experience. Pretty dangerous road too. To our next faith point four oh five. It's not safe to go alone. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Okay. Now, true to form, I did say I'd build, I'd build a, uh, I'm gonna go for it. We're probably not gonna get it in time. Um, but we are gonna try. We're gonna try. Okay, missionary 150. We can get that next turn. We should do some more weapons trading next turn as well. So it's kind of a uh, Cleopatra coming at you. I think I already made that joke. Well, to be fair, everybody on Earth has grievances against the English. Especially the English. There's a Simpsons quote about that, but I don't want to, I don't want to confuse the Zoomers too much. Mike Man. Ah, uh, yes. Missionary. Brisbane. 
What do you want, Brisbane? I guess, well, walls are going to increase in value since we're about to get a monarchy. So we'll go walls and then probably a granary. Nope, I'm saving up all of my envoys for 10 turns when I get cartography and I can cross oceans. Haven't negated that just yet. Maybe it needs a turn to update. Or maybe I just need to grow my pop a little bit. Population, that is. Ooh, boy. Plus eight. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We gotta catch up in science. Every, all the leading civs are in the hundreds. We haven't even topped 50 yet. But we still haven't settled our continent. We are still still warring with the barbarians. The investment in crossbows is basically what's keeping us alive right now. It would be nice if he comes out to fight us. I conclude then this point touching upon the power of kings with this axiom of divinity. That is to dispute what God may do is blasphemy. So it is sedition to dispute what a king may do. Hmm. Yeah. Quote coming from a king. Sort of says a lot, doesn't it? Like, hmm. Well, look, look I'm, all I'm saying is I conclude upon this point, touching upon the power of undead wizards and with the axiom of divinity. I'm just saying to dispute what God may do is blasphemy. So is it sedition to dispute what an undead wizard may do. Vikos. All right. Monarchy. So, up until this point, ruled by our priestly class. A cultural shift has taken place, for now, with the drive of our expansion now being driven uh, simultaneously by the cumulative power. I can't speak. The cumulative power of our faith, so too the might of our distinguished crossbowmen units. From their rank comes the new king, the first secular lord. Terribly controversial. I should probably chuck this one in until I get my, um, because I've got two wonders building. And there's a world where I should have this one in as well to help with that as well. But um, I need holy sites and I need... Yeah, this is just what it's going to have to be. Pew pew! Pew pew pew! Now we have uh, the area around Sydney basically um, developed to the maximum. I could move Liang on now, but their presence there is actually giving an extra point of um, productivity to 
each of the fishing each of the fisheries and I really need to get want to get that finished quickly so we're just going to leave it and see what happens and hopefully not forget about it too much Feudalism. I think I just lost Petra. Yep, yep. Rip. Rip. Requestiat in pace. Let's rest in peace in Latin. Right. Maybe I, I might be getting the Requestiat requ something like that. I don't know. I can't think right now. He's off. Well, Not a whole lot to develop sea-wise. Uh, not a whole lot of fisheries to build in Brisbane. Could snatch these up. Just before Indonesia does. That island might be handy. very soon and the good news is we're about to get cartography very very soon I think I can get Monumentality again in the Renaissance, so that will probably be enough to complete our expansion, our settling. I may even end up settling in New Zealand, we'll see. There's often some nice resources that pop up in New Zealand.
Oh, hello. That's a bloody good deal. And 10 diplomatic favour. What are you doing, Milan? Don't even think about it, that's mine. Oh, I'm starting to get a headache. And the pain, the pain meds are wearing off. Not all who wander are lost. My boy Tolkien. Hello, what are you doing? Trying to spread your dirty foreign religion? Hmm, if I don't buy these, you're gonna... Potentially offend me. I'm going to probably conquer Port Moresby at some point. I mean, shh. Don't tell Japan. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's, uh, oof. I could buy an Apostle, just to try to settle their hash. Because if they start spreading their religion in Waluna and Cairns, they're probably going to go for Cairns, and that's going to slow my development. But Apostle is 400. I could do that possibly next turn. Yeah, next turn. I should have one up. I'll have the Renaissance um, to continue building more settlers because I need one. I got that one's there, so I need one, two, three, four, possibly five settlers. Okay, we want to discover NITER. That's our next technology jump, gunpowder. The unfortunate part is that um, as I clear away all of the fog of war through here, I'm not going to get barbarians popping up, and there's going to go my major source of error score. Cleopatra's been defeated. Yeah, I saw that coming. She was mean to me. Just 
get back. Maybe use you to counter the influence of those settlers. Those uh, missionaries, rather. Okay, so we got our avenue. We can reliably travel around Cape York. That one, too. Well, they could take that one. I'll get that one, too. Um, 155, all right. Okay, now I was going to build that. Hey, one turn. Excellent. Let's build an apostle to celebrate. So we have our great big tomb to um, our mausoleum uh, commemorating that which is not dead, that can eternal lie and after strange aeons, even death may die. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, what do we got? Probably... I want the shrine, but the campus is probably more valuable here. We got a few campuses uh, building at once. God, their productivity shot up so far once I chucked that, uh, once I converted them. That's why dudes like this actually offer a, kind of an existential threat to my civilization. We are tied in with the old ones. Without faith in them, we couldn't have built all of these settlers. Okay, I think we got the Renaissance starting this turn. Yeah, wow, well, you better get ready for some more sacrilege then. I'm sacrilicious. Tomb lies over me in Halicarnassus. Of such dimensions, of such exquisite beauty, as no other shade can boast. So cool. The four building blocks of the universe are fire, water, gravel, and vinyl. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Debate me, bro. Indonesia's really fucking with me. They settle there, I am... Um... Yeah, I'm going to war. I mean, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. If they settle there, I'm going to war. It's that serious. The old ones demand it. Alright. 
For the first time we head out into the open sea. Oh look! They're going to revolt and join me. I don't have to conquer them. I mean, realistically, okay, well, that's, that's, see, if they settle there, see, who's going to offer them? I guess that's what we're going to find out. Because they may revolt and join me, or they may not. All right. Dumfries. That's a funny name. Monumentality. Yeah. It's what we want. Two flags, isn't that like an American, like water park or something? Have three flags, five flags. I don't know. Why are Americans obsessed with flags? Yes, this is what we want. Nitre. That lets us gives us access to gunpowder. Then we might go for square rigging. We're going to get some frigates. And then we can start moving into the geopolitical sphere. Um, don't want to give away my plans too much, but let's just say it involves cannons, broadsides. Meanwhile, we're still expanding. We're still expanding. Get out of here, Milan. Tell me how long you're going to live. Milan, Milan, Milan. Uh, it doesn't tell me. This is some jolly little music. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Ba da da. Okay. Well. You know what? I think I'm going to end the video here. Um. So, our story thus far, in this episode, our people have experienced a golden age. Having overcome the initial hurdles, they are, at least upon their own terms, propelling themselves forward into a shining beacon of civilization. Their settlement of the continent is so close now it is within grasp and surely surely then the old ones will be satisfied and will reveal their mysteries to us their chosen their favorite people 
But little do we know that the hunger of those chthonic deities demands more from us. For as our world grows larger, so too does it bring into sight our neighbors. And as we shall inevitably come into both diplomatic and physical conflict with them, the nearest being the Maori, Japanese and the Indonesians. Mayhap our people shall find that though we stand tall upon our isolated continent, the rest of the world, the rest of the world has gone on and left us behind. How will this next, this next chapter in our destiny unfold? What shall happen with this expansion of foreign religion reaching our shores? Foreign influence on our northern coastline. And now that we can achieve the destiny proffered to us and the oceans themselves, the deepest parts open up to us, shall we find the old ones? Or shall we simply find more expanses, more lands and more enemies? What then would the old ones demand of us? Beautifully timed with the ending of the song there. Thank you so much for joining me. This has been an absolute pleasure. I'm going to lie down for a bit and uh, yeah. Till next time, which shall be very soon. Swoop, swoop. You take care of yourself.